I had the experience of a lifetime as just a sophomore in high school. A few of my teammates and I entered into soccer for before tournament sponsored by Nike. This was unusual for me as I'm not the best with foot skills, which is required when playing 4v4. I couldn't use my speed to my advantage as the field was small and narrow, so I didn't feel as comfortable as I normally do. I had to adjust to use the skills I do have to my advantage. The winner of this tournament received an all-expense-paid trip to play for the North American Championship title and see the Women's World Cup Championship game in Vancouver, Canada. Something I couldn't dream of happened. We won. My arms were tingling, jumping up and down with excitement that we get to represent Chicago for the North American Championship. Weeks passed until a few days before we had to leave, and that's when reality sunk in. I received a box from Nike delivered to my house. I tore it open, not needing a scissors, screaming with excitement, and inside was a whole outfit. From the shirt to the shoes to even a jacket to dress in the day we left. We not only got an outfit to wear on the plane, but also outfits to wear the entire trip each day let out perfectly neatly on the bed. All wearing a bright yellow and white tank tops, we walked to the Nike Underground, where the 44 North American Championship Games occurred with three other major cities. New York, Los Angeles, and Vancouver. This place is any soccer player's dream. A long turf road led to an entrance of this amazing euphoric soccer empire held under a parking garage. There were a thousand cleats on the walls for players to wear while they played, jerseys of every international women's soccer team on a mannequin, and an incredible field where it was an honor to play on. We approached the field with each team wearing us the city they represent on their back, with the perfectly matching socks and shorts. After playing these games, we were able to tour Vancouver and all the incredible activities they had set up for the Women's World Cup along with the other teams. While we were walking and touring the clean city of Vancouver, Ella and I wanted to meet the team from California. Neither of us wanted to make the first move to start a conversation. We kept going back and forth to see who would talk first until I looked at Ella and said confidently, 20 seconds of courage. This 20 seconds of courage allowed us to have a start of a new friendship that grew insanely quick and continues till this day. We were able to experience the Women's World Cup by not only actually being there, but while enjoying it together with new friends that will last a lifetime. Not only that, we became such great friends that Ella Brooke, who is another teammate of ours, and I were able to go to California to visit the next summer. It took us to numerous beaches and also a place to go cliff jumping. Looking down at the water, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, but I closed my eyes, took a deep breath, and said to myself, 20 seconds of courage, and jumped. It was an unbelievable feeling to face the obstacle ahead of me, which wouldn't have happened without that 20 seconds of insane courage. Because having 20 seconds of insane courage for doing anything will always have a result of something amazing. I wouldn't have been able to go to play in the 4v4 tournament and win. I wouldn't have met my new lifelong friends in California. I wouldn't have been able to cross off the dream going to a Women's World Cup game off my bucket list. It had been a dream of mine to go to any World Cup game, but going to the championship game exceeded my expectations. Woo! The thrilling of the stadium yelling at each goal was pierced into my ear like an earring. The chanting of the USA made me proud of being from the United States. While watching the unpredictable, most amazing game of my life, my mom had called to ask how it was going. She knew in my voice I was feeling selfish of the experiences I was having. She stopped me from talking and told me, Your sisters are not jealous of you, Ari. They're extremely happy that you get to experience this. They honestly had tears of joy that you are living out a dream. I've never been more thankful and blessed to have the sisters I do. I've learned to not take them for granted and instead be proud to have all three of them in my life. The experiences I've had with the people in my life shaped me to be who I am today. They allowed me to have a childhood that I couldn't ever imagine and a future that I cannot be more excited for.